Oftentimes, sci-fi writers and filmmakers envision futures filled with technology that feels light years away. But these dreamers aren't just shooting for the stars, they're reaching for the cosmos. Dreamers are also the scientists, engineers, and innovators that transform fiction into reality and in the process, reshape what we know to be possible. Pan Am, the nation's sole international airline before World War II, continued to shape commercial aviation even after its monopoly ended, pioneering innovations like the jet airplane. In Stanley Kubrick's 1968 sci-fi masterpiece, 2001, A Space Odyssey, a Pan Am space plane shuttles passengers to a space station. Fast forward to today, Elon Musk's SpaceX has made strides towards this vision with Polaris Dawn's private mission into space and its historic commercial spacewalk. Last month, the Polaris Dawn crew, consisting of mission commander Jared Isaacman, a billionaire CEO of the finance company Shift 4 Payments, his close friend and former U.S. Air Force pilot Scott Kidd Poteet, and SpaceX operations engineers Anna Menon and Sarah Gillis. They all slipped into their SpaceX EVA suits. This stylish and sleek extravehicular activity suit or space Walk suit is an evolution of SpaceX's IVA spacesuit, making it a lightweight, unobtrusive fit while protecting astronauts from the harsh vacuum of space. When pressurized, the suit's fabric-based material designed by SpaceX transforms into rigid armor with flexible joints that allow astronauts to move with ease. The EVA suit is engineered to withstand extreme temperatures while ensuring the suit's interior is comfortable and safe to touch. The the EVA helmet features a heads-up display, or HUD, with a transparent screen that delivers critical telemetry to the crew, including pressure, temperature, and relative humidity without obstructing the astronaut's view. The Polaris Dawn kicked off their mission to space by breaking an altitude record, reaching an orbit around Earth that extended as high as 870 miles or 1,400 kilometers. That's the highest Earth orbit ever traveled by humans beating a 1966 record set by NASA's Gemini 11 mission, which reached 853 miles. The 41-year-old billionaire Jared Isaacman was the first to exit Polaris Dawn at about 6.52 a.m. Eastern Time, followed by 30-year-old SpaceX engineer Sarah Gillis, making the pair the first non-government individuals to conduct such an excursion in space. The spacewalk officially ended around 8 a.m. Eastern Time. The Polaris Dawn's mission broke boundaries and sent four civilians higher into orbit than any other mission since 1972's Apollo 17. Now, if only filmmaker Stanley Cooper could have witnessed that historic event, and I bet the iconic Hanna-Barbera would feel the same way about another moment. George Jetson. Hanna Barbara created the 1962 primetime cartoon, The Jetsons, that showed a world with flying cars. Now, Samson Sky is doing the same in the real world. The Samson Sky Switchblade is a flying sports car. The Switchblade can transform from a car to an aircraft in about 30 seconds, allowing users to drive on roads and take off from airports. It seats two in tandem with driving speeds up to 100 miles miles per hour and flight speeds up to 120 miles per hour. The switchblade can also fly 450 miles on one single tank of gas. It's designed to comply with automotive and aviation regulations requiring a pilot's license to fly. And it's also equipped with the parachute to deploy in emergency landings and robust safety systems for driving and flying. The switchblade even has built-in storage space for your luggage. A year after the switchblade was pronounced airworthy worthy by the FAA and 14 years after it was first introduced, this flying sports car officially lifted off the ground at the Grant County International Airport in Moses Lake, Washington. It reached an altitude of 500 feet and then circled around to a landing about six minutes later. The enduring power of imagination and innovation connects the sci-fi visions of Stanley Kubrick's 2001 A Space Odyssey and the whimsical flying cars of the Jetsons with historic achievements from Elon Musk's Polaris Dawn spaceflight and the Samson Sky Switchblade's real-life flying car. And 
as future writers, filmmakers, scientists, and engineers continue to dream, they should always remember that the promise of a better tomorrow starts from within. And if you enjoyed this week's episode of The Circuit, don't forget to like, follow, and subscribe for more incredible engineering news.